Ah, okay, here's the water report. <clears throat> My well water. This was, uh, sample was taken on February the 14th, 2013. So I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Uh, and any local residents, you can make a drop off at the uh, Interior Health as a facility, and they'll forward it to, in in Penticton General Hospital in that small uh, the small one story complex. That's uh, what would that be to the southwest of the main hospital there. Where all the doctor's offices are, and the daycare, and I think there's a seniors or something there. And they will forward it to uh, Cairo Analytical Services, which is uh, one of the provincial's uh, contractors. I uh, believe these. Or should I say, I have no reason to suspect that uh, there's any discrepancies. Although I'm still waiting on other samples from independent testers. So, there you go. There's the results. 0 0.0117 milligrams per liter. Let's get you close up on that. of uranium. Okay. MAC is a maximum allowable Canadian level, which I assume is the new extremely highly raised level of 0.012, which we're uh, considerably under. So what is that? Uh, well, I should have done the math. Uh, about 45% of maximum allowable levels according to the federal standards. I don't know what the new BC level is. I know it was going to be something way, way lower than this when they were redoing the Water Protection Act and then they redid something else and blah, blah, blah. I really haven't had time since Spider Lake Springs to catch up. Where the legislation is, and that was, of course, you know, years before Fukushima. So, like I keep saying, the S Stephen Harper and his the Harper Conservative government saw fit to just suspend all testing. Uh, we're talking Fukushima fallout. In uh, three eleven eleven, except for a few stations, and uh, deny anything happened. Deny any knowledge of anything happening. And they ran two tests. 1.0167 milligrams per liter and 0 0.0164 milligrams per liter. Uh, with a spike of uh, 0.0192. So. so yeah, our average is going to be about 0.0165. And of course, I ran the plumbing for well, a good 20 minutes to flush her out. And get a pure sample. Alright, well. There you are.
Not a good thing. How fucked is that? I don't know. Maybe that's why they call me at Documents Atomics when I was a kid. Hey. Uh. Hey, Bear. Oh, I thought it was Doctor Atomics. No, I don't have a doctor in anything. I'm a jackass of all fields and all trades and all things. Yeah, see, Bear had a big bad bobo. You there? Yeah, it hurts like a bugger, eh? Broke a nail and then tried to fix it himself. Should've come to Dad. Hey, buggy! Anything to say about drinking uranium in your water? <laughs> no, it doesn't make it strong. Yes, yeah, takes the immune systems down. Makes all kinds of problems. There are all the internal organs. Yeah. Still doing the field survey. Let's just have a quick look while we got you here. Give you, give you the spring check. Yeah. It's springy. I don't want to let uh, some of the spring melt run off and redo my tests on the field. Just keep in mind. Over about there is where this uh, natural Ukrainian oak cropping is. And how I don't know, but uh, I, I suspect and want to do further testing on the uh, artesian well that comes up there. That's probably the carrier mechanism. Keeping in mind that the. Uh... Are you guys staying there? That from the little bit on the BC uh, file, which I'll put the link there. Mine file. Oh, no, I can't link on screen, but I'll. I'll... I'll put a link down there in the uh, uh, more info under that button. Um, which at the start of this series, uh, episode one, there was a, a link. And in fact, I showed you on screen what PC mine file was. All right, well, we'll do some more work on this over the next week or so for uh, the local residents, as well as other people around uh, North America that may have similar natural occurrences which the government has positively known about since, well, since the mineral, the uranium claim was staked back in the 80, 85, or 82, or 83 when all the testing was done. Why the hell the government wasn't always... Okay. Well, other than the liability, uh, which only gets worse when you under strict liability when you try and do nothing. Why wasn't the government making sure everybody knew and was doing their tests uh, once a year or, you know, every time there's a geological disturbance, like the, the uh, earthquakes, the two earthquakes series that happened uh, back around the time I got sick and I did, detected a whole bunch of, uh, well, radioactive poop, <laughs> basically, in the toilet. Which may have been partly radon gas, I don't know, with my primitive testing. Uh, hair sampling, that's the only way to go back in time. And get a uh, clearer picture. Yes, of course, I, on my deathbed I was mumbling all this to the doctors. and Until they started to, uh, what? U uranium? Uranium? You, you, you need a chemical lobotomy? Oh, okay. What? No, no, don't put that shit in. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're arresting you right here under medical warrant, and we're giving it to you. If you don't take it, well, we'll just um, hold you down and pump it in. You know, after they already started to do it in my IV, I caught them like three times. Said, no, don't put that fucking shit in me. Two compounds. One to make me unable to see, and the other to make me unable to talk. 
Thanks a lot, Dr. Worsey. The only thing saving you from a class action lawsuit is the fact that I uh, made a pledge to the surgeon that I would not see his time used up as a witness subpoenaed to court for a malpractice suit or whatever other action administering a stupid stupefied substance without consent. Still undoing the damage, and now I've got this blemish in my medical record that'll fuck me over for any kind of insurance or, or passports or you name it. Uh, what did you call it then? Schizoaffective disorder? How the fuck can you make a diagnosis on a person that A, you've drugged and that B, is dying with septus? And, uh, you know, is basically starving to death. <laughs> Having the bacteria eat all my new, all my tissue. Now. Hey, kitty. Ain't she pretty? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just saying that because she's so loving to her puppy friends. Right there, when Bear was going through all his pain. Hey, Bear? Yeah, so was Cindy, of course. Not like wild beasts that chase away the injured and throw rocks at the injured. You know, like humans do. But then humans uh, are far from sentient. Of course, they're also one of the youngest species on the planet, but. Oh, sapiens. Blah.